Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thailand's comparative advantage in terms of the cannabis space. I made another video contemporaneously with this one where we talked about first mover advantage. The fact that effectively Thailand was the first to move with regard to legalization of cannabis and the exploitation of that cash crop has been a benefit, I think, overall to the kingdom, and I think it will be in the longer term. But another thing to keep in mind is that Thailand, by dint of the fact that it was the first to move on this, has put itself into a position where it can and will, I think, maintain into the future comparative advantage to other jurisdictions with regard to cannabis, especially as they begin to legalize. And what am I talking about here? I'm talking about specialized manufacturing, specialized agronomy associated with growing and cultivating and harvesting and processing cannabis, hemp, hemp products, byproducts, oils, all of this stuff. Thailand is able to do this right now because they made the first move. They legalized it. The government legalized it here. And now we have seen business in the wake of that legalization begin to take up free enterprise. And we're starting to see this, quite honestly, this industry grow and become more complex. And as that happens, it's going to lead to more innovations in that industry. And it's going to lead to more complexity, I think, which will lead to more jobs and more need for specialized skill sets in that, in that particular in that particular field, in the cannabis space specifically. I think long term, if people would look at it, they would see this could be a major benefit to Thailand, not only in terms of agriculture, but also the skilled services associated with manufacturing products associated with growing, maintaining, as well as processing cannabis products here in the Kingdom of Thailand.